Hey, Matt Calise here. Today we're uh, tying a tarpon toad uh, hook that I have in the vise is a Daiichi 2456. Um, my thread is a Vivas 50D, and we're going to go ahead and start by uh, taking some wraps down the shank of the hook here. Next up, we're going to uh, go ahead and put in a, a large bead chain eye. You can modify this to fit your needs any way you see fit. You know, you could increase um, the size of the bead chain or go to a lead eye if you felt that you needed it. So next step after we get our bead chain in is we're going to go ahead and wrap down the shank of the hook and I'm going to use some micro pulsator strips. Now this is a black and uh, purple barred variation here and I'm just going to take a piece. I like to stretch it. It helps it to lay out more flat and it's going to aid in uh, tying it in. You can see I, I gently rotate uh, the strip towards me so I can lash it in um, easier and I'm just going to go ahead and taper cut the back. I do that all in one uh, motion with my scissors. As long as you have good sharp scissors you should be just fine. So next up I'm going to take a little bit of water-based head cement and it's just going to help stabilize that strip just a little bit. Um, really kind of uh, soaks into the hide and it's going to create stability so you can actually get away from uh, utilizing a uh, like a mono loop to keep your uh, tail from fouling. So it's just a quick hack to uh, increase your speed. Next up, this is a, a EP brush, black purple with red uh, um, flash in it, and I'm going to be using that to create a nice big collar. I think it's a uh, EP, just the standard EP brush. Nothing, nothing too special here. I'm going to treat it just like a hackle and wrap forwards up until we uh, start using just our standard EP fibers to create the head. So you see about seven or so wraps of that creates a nice area. I do a quick flick of the bobbin and that's uh, just to get it around the material so I can secure it in. You can see I use a nail clipper there because of that stainless wire can dull scissors out really quick and I'm going to be using a dubbing brush tool to quickly uh, kind of crimp that collar to make it look nice and clean. Next up I just do some securing wraps to make sure it holds backwards and now we're going to use some EP fibers. So I like to cut these into shorter lengths so they're easier for me to work with and I don't have to work with the full length of material because that's actually fairly arduous. Um, and I'm going to be securing in about a pencil's diameter um, each time I, I do this and you can see I'm still stacking and primping my EP fibers. See, I start and I do a few loose wraps to kind of get it in place where I want it and then I'll begin to figure eight it and what that does is it makes it stand out and sit pretty flush so we'll be able to kind of hold that in and I'm putting a lot of pressure on these materials as I'm doing this so as I move forward I'm going to continuously push back the EP fiber and that's going to help create uh, the segmentation but you can see I kind of uh, rotate it and if you're looking down it kind of looks like a bow tie. Um, so once I have that in there I'm that's like as I'm you can see me actually grip the, the spool of thread that's to help further lock it in and you kind of just have to wrangle those fibers until they're 100 percent secure. And so we just repeat this figure eight process throughout the rest of the fly. 
And some other colorways you can try are like chartreuses, oranges, yellows, and reds. Um, you know, all black if you don't want to add purple in there. Uh, it's it's really it's it's really just whatever you feel like throwing. Um, some of the uh, Florida boys seem to throw the most outlandish colors at these fish, and they are uh, are still eating. That was a pretty good shot of the uh, the top, seeing how it like kind of pancakes out. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and whip finish here, um, right in front of the eye. I don't mind leaving a little bit of extra uh, hook shank sticking out there. It doesn't uh, doesn't really bother me and uh, doesn't the fish don't seem to mind it at all either. So you can see I'm getting this to stand out nice and straight. I turn this towards me and I'm just going to trim the outside width first. So this is the actual width of the fly that I'm trimming out first. And a little bit of tapering in there as well. We can go ahead and flatten it down uh, quite a bit too. Make sure there's not a ton of stragglers. I am going to color the rest of this black with a marker, and we'll go ahead and coat that to finish the fly. I'm just going to use the water based head cement. It's an evaporative product and works great for this application. You could also use UV flow or fluorescing flow here as well. So, this, uh, this will really penetrate down into the fly and uh, create a nice solid bond. There you go, just a basic tarpon toad.